What's going on? It's time to talk about something a little different than what I normally talk about. Today I'm going to be talking about a music documentary. Now, I'm a huge music fan. I'm You see a lot of my CDs and stuff are in the backs there. But, uh, yeah, so today, uh, the other night I checked out the documentary If I Leave Tomorrow, a film about uh, Leonard Skinner. So, I'm not a huge Leonard Skinner fan. I know a lot of, like, their mainstream stuff, like Freebird and everything like that. Um... But yeah, I'm not like a huge, huge fan, but I thought I'd check it out and see what it is. I always love watching documentaries on musicians' backstories and stuff like that. So, yeah, the film was released March 13th, 2018, and is directed by Stephen Kajak, who's also done a lot of other, like, documentary films, such as uh, Shoplifters of the World, Sid and Judy, Wary, and Backstreet Boys. Show them what you're made of, that documentary. So, yeah, he has a good little track record. There's, like, ten, he's done, like, this is, like, his 10th film or something like that, or he has at least 10 to date. And, uh, yeah, so this is a documentary that followed. Basically, it goes from the beginning of Leonard Skinner to the crash, where uh, one of their guitar players and their vocalists and one of the backup singers all died, and a couple of their roadies and stuff died in a plane crash and uh, changed the dynamics of Leonard Skinner for the rest, for the upcoming from then on so yeah it's a good in-depth look into Leonard Skinner they have a lot of good interviews of the only surviving members right now and also uh some archive interview footage from the past uh of uh past members who have passed on recently and stuff and even with uh mr van zandt there's some like radio interviews mixed in there as well to help tell the story and evolution of leonard skinner and how it became to be and how dominant of the radio they were in the soft southern rock and stuff like that in the 60s and 70s and real that, that propelled them to the mainstream uh stardom and stuff even with it has your typical, like, some people leaving the band and stuff like that due to turmoil and stuff. But it was a really good in-depth look and a really good sound documentary uh, on Leonard Skinner. It gives you exactly what you want. History, some cool live footage, uh, old school live footage of Leonard Skinner. And it definitely covers the story well. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing really to complain about. It's just a really good documentary on the history of Leonard Skinner. So Leonard Skinner fans are absolutely going to probably adore this. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely enjoyed watching it, even though I'm not a huge fan of it. It's of Leonard Skinner. Um, it was still really enjoyable, and that's saying a lot. So uh, I don't really have anything else to say on here. I just wanted to help spread the word that you can check this out on Netflix and people should check it out. It's pretty good and pretty interesting documentary. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5 because it's a music documentary with no flaws. Definitely deserves that rating. So definitely check it out. There's gonna, I'll link like a trailer or, whatever, or a teaser trailer or whatever it was that I watched down below. It doesn't do it justice at all, but it'll be linked down there. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram. It's always linked down there. I post clips of films I'm going to view in the future on my story. Um, I had the phone title and a hashtag and the subgenre of film and a hashtag and video clip. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram to stay in the loop. Also, you can check me out on Letterboxd at Derek. Um, Derek P. Reviews, and, uh, yeah, that's where I post my first, like, little star rating on there right after watching it, so definitely check out my Instagram and Letterboxd to see what I'm reviewing next so you can stay in the loop. Uh, like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the documentary down below if you've seen it. Also, let me know some interesting Leonard Skinner records if I should check them out and stuff down below. And if you have any films or documentaries or anything like that that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. I'll try my to get them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And make sure you subscribe. I'll probably do more music documentaries in the future. But for now, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to review next. It's probably going to be another horror film, but we'll see how it goes. So, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. And I know this is a short review today, but we'll probably have a longer one, better and crazier ones coming up so hopefully you can find something cool and odd together to watch that you never thought you'd check out and hopefully i help uh spread the word of some good films that you probably never heard of so i guess i'll see you on the next review keep rocking out to leonard skinner and i guess i'll see you all in the next review so cheers